and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm a uh, bare face right now and I've got a big bag of makeup ready to apply it. This was actually makeup that strangers chose me which was so exciting and fun to film. Also it was kind of like nerve wracking at the same time but yeah it was good. However we did actually end up getting kicked out the store but you'll see that like throughout the video. So that was kind of annoying but apart from that this video was so much fun to film. I met so many lovely people. Everyone felt so awkward on camera. It was great. <laughs> I did actually also film a video like this where strangers actually chose my outfit. I'm off to go and find some fashion gurus in Brighton town. <laughs> And you guys really, really enjoyed that video, so if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below. But over on that video, so many of you guys asked if I would go out and let strangers pick a full face. So here I am. So I'm going to be applying this makeup to my face, but before I do, let's see what happened when I went to town. Okay, so we're starting off with Roy, who is going to be choosing my foundation. Do you have anything in mind? No. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Probably the closest one. Yeah. It's gonna go okay. for nip and fab. And that one there. That's not a foundation. Oh, isn't it? Oh, there you so go. So I think the, these, are the, these are the <laughs> these are the foundations? Yeah. These are foundations. Do you choose any right, of these? Okay. Yeah. Let's have a butcher. Um, <laughs> um, oh, that one. That one. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So this is what you're going for, yeah? That's the one. This is the one, guys. Wow. I've never tried this foundation as well, so thank you. Okay. So we're doing a lipstick now, and I'm joined by Medica, and she has decided to choose my lipstick. So you ready? And yep. concealer. Huh? Oh, and, and concealer, actually. We're doing both, aren't we? Okay. Lipstick and concealer you're going to try and find. Um, so good luck. You can choose anything that you think might suit me or whatever you think I should have. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Well, you have great skin, so I mean, ah, just thank you. So, okay, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna pick Amazonian um, from Maybelline because it's one of my favorite lip lipsticks. Oh, you actually have this one? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. And cool. I love nudes, so I Great. mean, look good lipsticks. Thanks. She's going to This is going to be great. Oh my god, I just didn't. Don't worry, the guy before me got a really super dark foundation, so it's okay. Okay, so I picked the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in Vanilla. Cool. I've also met two other lovely people. Introduce yourself. I'm Alex. I'm Ram. And um, Alex is going to be doing my eyeshadow. And here, you're going to be doing my bronzer. So, you ready? Okay. Okay, so let's ready. do it. Let's anywhere in the shop. It doesn't matter what brand, like whatever. Okay, I'm going to choose... Do you have to say anything? Back, Ram has chosen back at the L'Oreal one. Yeah, I like it. I've never used this bronzer and I've always wanted to try it out. So thank you. Oh, Very happy good. with that. Thanks. Here is the palette that Alex has chosen. I've gone for colour. I want to see some summer colours popping. So yeah. Okay, the makeup cool. skills are going to come out with this palette and I'm pretty excited. I like your choice. Thank you. Great. So, basically, guys, basic, ugh, basically, I just got kicked out. Well, I didn't really get kicked out to the drug, but I got told that I wasn't allowed to film in there anymore and she basically asked that I would go ask someone in here, but I knew that I wouldn't be allowed to film anyways. Long story short, not allowed to film in there, not allowed to do this video anymore. Um, but I did get two people who do buy the rest of my makeup. Um, so thank you to Zoe and Jenny for choosing the rest of my makeup. I'll show you when I'm at home. Um, I've got my super job bag and we're ready to go and apply this full face. Um, and thanks everyone for being in it too. So there you go everyone. That was definitely interesting. As you guys would have seen, um, I did get kicked out of the store for filming, but I did actually manage to get the rest of the full face. So I couldn't actually film it unfortunately, but I do have the rest of the makeup product in my bag chosen by strangers. Starting off with foundation chosen by Roy. We've got this foundation by Nip and Fab. I've got the shade 40, which honestly looks a little bit too dark for me, but you've got to give Roy credit for trying because to be fair I don't think he's ever had to choose foundation in his life before in fact he didn't really know what foundation was um, so thanks Roy for choosing this for me I actually love Nip and Fab I've used so many of their products before however I've never used their foundation and I'm pretty sure I might be wrong but I feel like you have to mix this with something but this is all we've got so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and just blend it in and see what happens right this is definitely too dark but we can work with it. 
way too dark. <laughs> as blended as it's gonna get. I actually match my beauty blender at the moment. It's definitely too dark. I think Roy really thought I needed a tan. However, I do not think I needed a tan this much. It's not even like dark, it's like orange. Like I literally look like an Oompa Loompa. If you've seen Wizards of Oz, you would know what an Oompa Loompa is. In fact, I'll pop one here and that's exactly what I look like right now. Next, we're moving on to concealer. This is L'Oreal True Match and it's in the shade. I don't know, I feel like she, um, Verica said this on screen and she was so lovely, oh my goodness. And it's so sweet as well because I actually found out that she watched my videos and we actually gave her the fright of her life <laughs> when I asked her to, um, to be in my video. It was so funny, but she was so sweet. So thank you so much. I don't know how this is gonna sit over this foundation. It's quite a nice color though. I'm definitely glad that it's quite light because hopefully we're gonna lighten up the foundation a little bit. <laughs> Because the foundation is so dark, the concealer doesn't actually show up that much. However, it was so creamy, I love the formula, it blended so well, and I genuinely think I would use that concealer every single day. Like, I'm so glad that I actually got the chance to try it, because this is going straight in my makeup bag. The next product is chosen by Ram. This is a bronzer, again, another L'Oreal product, and I do just want to say, he was so lovely, and I was so embarrassed, because I'm looking back at the footage, and I'm like, I actually, I didn't hear his name the first time, and I didn't go, sorry, what was your name again? Because I felt rude. And so I introduced him as here, and I look back at it, and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so embarrassed. So embarrassing. And here, you're gonna be doing my bronzer. So Ram, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, um, but thank you so much for choosing the bronzer. I will never forget your name again now. <laughs> Can I just say, I know I haven't actually used the bronzer yet, but this is so good. You've got the bronzer, you've got a brush underneath it, hang on. How do I open it again? And then you've got a mirror. How good is that? I'm actually not gonna use that brush because I'm gonna use my own brush. I actually think this shade might be quite good too. Um, but again, we're going over the foundation so I don't really know if we need it to be that much darker. Moving on from bronzer, we're going in with the highlight. This is by MUA. This actually looks like such a nice highlight. In fact, actually, I've used this highlight before. I know I have. I actually really like this highlight, it's really pretty. I feel like it's really buildable as well, which is really nice. Brow product was chosen by um, Zoe, so thank you so much. This is the medium to dark brow kit by Barry M. Plus to get in a brow kit, I think that's really nice. Um, I don't like cream products personally, and I prefer using powder, um, but it's really good because there's a cream product, a powder, and then there's also like a lighter shade that you can highlight your brows with too. Um, so I'm using the middle shade, which is quite dark, but I think it should be fine because I prefer my brows being darker anyways. So when I do my brow, like, I'm definitely not a brow perfectionist. Like, I don't spend loads of time on my brows, um, but when I do it, I normally like outline my brows, and then I kind of just fill it in. <laughs> looking for a very long time when it came to the palette. He wanted something that was wow, could test the makeup skills. So we got a palette by MUA and this is their Silent Disco eyeshadow palette. To start off I want to say but I've never used yellow and blue before so wish me good luck. And second of all, we all know I'm not a makeup artist so if you have any comments, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> right, so I'm starting off with this blue here. And I'm gonna put this like on the crease and just blend it oh, in. Life could be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise This palette was quite hard, like the colours are really pretty, but they're like, the, it is really buildable, which is really good, but it means it takes a long time because the colours aren't quite um, what they look on the palette. Like, this dark blue, I've had to mix with the purple quite a bit to kind of get this darky, bluey purple colour. Because the dark blue alone was actually quite light and it took a lot of layers. But I've kind of blended the lighter um, one towards the top and then I put over the lid the blue and the purple mixed together. Um, and I'm now going to add some yellow, like, in the corner. But so the colour doesn't, like, blend and so it doesn't go green, I'm going to put some concealer in first. The problem with this um, eyeshadow palette is, is there's so much fallback, like, so much fallback 
back and it's so powdery and they're almost like shimmery which is pretty but it means it's hard to kind of get like a really strong bold color really 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 hoping that the yellow does look bold because I think that will kind of like finish the look um, so I'm going to use the concealer in the middle of my eyes now and then put the yellow on top <laughs> Just to make this clear, not trying to do a cut crease. Um, I'm just, I'm, like, I'm not actually going halfway across the lid. I'm going like maybe like a quarter, maybe just over a quarter. It's literally taken forever to do this. This is the finished look. My liners are a little bit different and I did Basically, I kind of cheated a little bit because I did do liner, um, only because I forgot to get liner in the store and if I had more time and if I was allowed to film, I would have got liner. Um, and secondly, with this like, with the colour eyeshadows, you kind of like have to apply liner because otherwise it would have looked so weird. It would have just, there would have been something missing. So I just done liner. I just used a liner from home. Um, I use the Rimmel Exaggerated Liner, um, which is really, really, really good. Right, so we're moving on to mascara. This was uh, this was chosen by Jenny as well. She she chose the eyebrows and she chose the mascara. And the mascara is um, Lottie London, and it's. Uh, an ultra volumizing mascara, which is exactly what I need. I've never used or heard of this mascara before, but it's so cool. Like if you look at the brush, I like how it's bent. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I like it. I don't know if she's actually used this before, like if it was a recommendation or if she just chose it randomly. I've got obviously lipstick, but I've also got, oh, I forgot she got me that. She also got me lashes, because she picked me up lashes and then she picked me up mascara and I ended up getting both, which is actually better, um, because with this liner you can't even see my lashes. And last but not least, we've got lipstick chosen by Verica, and this is Maybelline New York, and this is a recommendation. She said this is an amazing, um, so I'm pretty excited. I also don't really wear mattes anymore, um, so I'm excited to give this a go. Oh God, that's so nice. That is so nice. So everyone, here is the full face of makeup that strangers chose for me. You know what, I actually really like the makeup that I use. Obviously it was quite hard um, to start off with because the foundation colour. Um, and to be honest, I've been sitting in front of my lights that is so hot. Like the heat is like sweating off, which might not just be a bad thing considering how dark it is. I think it turned out okay um, considering I've never used those colours from a palette before. But yeah, as I said, it's all kind of coming off my face now, which isn't great. I think maybe because I didn't use a primer as well, it didn't help. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Smash a big thumbs up if you guys did. And obviously subscribe down below if you guys haven't already subscribed. Um, and if you turn on the post notifications, which is this bell here, then every single time that I upload, you guys will get a notification. So make sure you do that. Go and subscribe to my vlogging channel as well. Um, and that's it for me. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye!